Hello everybody and welcome back to Nintendo Flips. My name is Jens and we're back at it again buying used games, systems, accessories, action figures, whatever we can find to build that 3DS collection back there and any other collection that we're building at this time. We got so many different things going on. But it's been a minute guys. Haven't uh, done a video for I think a month, maybe a little bit over a month. Uh, just so busy. But I did do some shopping, not as much as I usually do. I did find some amazing things and here we are. Hope all of you have uh, been enjoying all these amazing games that are coming out. I'm still working through Tears of the Kingdom. I think I'm like 60% done. There's so much to do in that game. Uh, I just started Final Fantasy 16, so now that one's taking my time. That game is amazing. I love it. Uh, huge fan of Final Fantasy, so great stuff. But enough about gaming. Is it enough about gaming? Because this is all gaming, so I guess, I guess more gaming. Uh, picked up a bunch of cool stuff and today's official uh, drink is sponsored by Yakuza Cup. Picked up this amazing uh, cup Kiryu. Um, got it here, it's, it's really cool for coffee and stuff like that. I like it, I mean, it's, uh, this is like plastic. And that is, look at that guy, isn't that awesome? NANI wa NAN DESU KA? So I really like that. Uh, I picked it up for about, I don't know, was it like $30? Um, just in case I break it, I did pick up a second one right here. Uh, but yeah, huge fan of Yakuza. Uh, it's a Mountain Dew in here. Sugar, need that sugar guys. Um, it's been, work's been busy, but I was able to find some great deals and these are some stuff that I'll be bringing with me uh, to go ahead and flip so we can build that collection. And let's go ahead and jump right into all this stuff that we picked up with actually some more Amiibos. I did pick up the uh, Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo uh, finally here. Got it for about $15, so another one to add to the collection. Uh, as I had mentioned in the last video, I'm going to try to get uh, all the Zelda ones. I have been using them on the game. I also picked up the Sheik Amiibo. Got this one for, uh, this one was more expensive I believe. It was uh, $26, paid for it, but it's also like 35 brand new. So here it is, got it. Uh, I'm going to add it to the collection. I uh, got them all back there uh, lined up. Uh, there's so many of them now guys, I got so many Amiibos for Zelda. but. There's going to be even more. They announced a, uh, what is it, a Zelda and Princess Zelda and Ganondorf uh, during that Nintendo Direct, which was amazing. A lot of awesome Mario games. More games to add to the collection. So first one I picked up here is um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. I got quite a few of these. Uh, so this one's going to be the flip. Uh, doesn't have a little pamphlet. Most of them don't, but uh, that's not too bad. Paid 118 RMB, $17. Sells for 38 So a nice little profit to make there. Added um, to, towards our... Uh, game funds. Picked up a uh, Dungeon Hunter. I don't have this one I believe so I'm gonna add it to our collection. Paid 70 RMB. $10. Sells for 20 So uh, this one's going to our PS Vita collection. Uh, picked up this one here Minecraft uh, for the Vita. Uh, this one came with a little pamphlet and uh, this one here I paid uh, I believe 55 RMB. $8. Sells for about 45 I think this one's going towards our collection. Don't have that one either. This one here, I picked up quite a few of these copies, Tokyo Mirage uh, Sessions. Uh, this one is sealed. I paid a, uh, what was it, 160 RMB, $22. They tend to sell for about 50 sealed. So I got quite a few of these to take. So that's gonna be awesome. Again, more money to flip. I uh, actually found a game to add to the collection. So Cubic Ninja, it is complete uh, with the manual and everything. This one here, I got it for about 100 RMB, which is $14 and sells for 25. So this one going to the collection, another game that we can actually knock off uh, from the uh, collection. Another game that does very well for us here is uh, Dead or Alive. Picked up two copies of it, they're both used. Uh, this one here I paid 129 uh, RMB, which is about uh, $18. And this one here I paid 100 RMB, which is uh, $14. And they tend to sell for about 35 each. Uh, so not too bad there. Uh, two really good copies of uh, Dead or Alive. Of course, we already have it, so that's again to flip. Uh, picked up another game for the collection. It's very hard to find games here now, but I picked up this one. It's uh, Blaze Blue or Blast Blue. Uh, Blast Blue. <laughs> I guess it could be Blaze Blue. Blast Blue. Uh, this one here, I picked it up for uh, 100 RMB, $14, and it sells for 54 It is complete. The guy who sold it to me provided these little uh, plastic containers, so pretty cool. Another game we can add to the collection and uh, got it for a really good price. Um, next thing we got here is, uh, let's see what do we got. Oh, this one here. 
um, Zodiac Warriors, so Los Caballeros del Zodiaco. So this is a really good one. It's brand new, guys. It's sealed. Uh, I paid, uh, what was it, uh, 280 RMB? Uh, 280 RMB, it's uh, $39. Sells for about $125, the last copy sealed. So very nice, and the game is not loose, so that's always a really good thing. Uh, picked up a copy of uh, Blast Blue <laughs> for the PS Vita. It does have English, it's sealed. This one I paid, I believe, uh, 69 RMB, which is $10. It tends to sell for 20. We don't have it in the collection, going towards our PS Vita collection. And uh, what else we got here? We got tons of stuff, guys. Ooh, a game that we really like in this channel, Metal Gear Solid 3D. I'm still finding this, uh, amazingly, a sealed copy. Uh, this one here, I paid uh, 320 RMB, $45. Sells for $260, the last copy that sold, so pretty awesome. Still sealed, you can see like the crack still, on the, being a crack there on the seal, but not bad, it's brand new. This one will do very well on eBay's, more funds towards our uh, collection there. And then uh, just picked up a bunch of random really cool stuff um, here. I remember last video I showed you guys that uh, here in um, China people like to break up the system and sell like the dock by itself, so the Joy-Cons by itself. So I reached out to the one person who's always breaking the, the systems apart and I got the box. No Joy-Cons in this one. Got the box, but it does have the dock brand new in, in the uh, HDMI. I ordered the power cords for about, uh, I got three of them for $15. So I will be putting one of these in each box. The dock itself um, tends to do pretty well. I bought three of them guys, three of these uh, docks with the HDMI cord. Um, and uh, I paid about 270 RMB a piece. So that's about $38 a piece for each one of these. So uh, that's including the, bo the box and the HDMI. So three of them here. Uh, 270 RMB a piece, which is about uh, $38 each. So, <laughs> uh, doing math, 114, I guess, $114, maybe $114 for all of these. And each one of them sells for about $80. Uh, but they don't have the box. This one, I'm gonna throw in the box with them, so maybe I can get a little bit more. I am thinking about adding the Joy-Cons because if you add the Joy-Cons and the dock together, you can get about $229. So that's maybe something I will be looking at. Again, I had mentioned in the video, easy money. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it. Oh my God, I'm strapped at. It's getting crowded in here, guys. Uh, so yeah, that's an investment there. And not only that, I can give them the box. So a lot of the people on eBay that are selling them don't have the box. Maybe I can entice them with the box and then adding the Joy-Cons. Um, so it's not too bad. Joy-Cons, the Zelda ones here, you can get them for about uh, $75, maybe something like that. Uh, so it's not too bad. Um, I could purchase some Joy-Cons, add them on there, and that'll be the complete bundle except for the tablet itself. And it'll still sell pretty well. So that's a pretty good find. Uh, remember we have our uh, blue box uh, special going on here where we're just buying random uh, loose games, kind of throwing them on here. We're gonna use that profit, whoops to go ahead and buy some Super Nintendo games. One of them which was at Super Mario RPG, which just got announced, the remake. So I'm gonna think about still buying that one uh, or not. If not, I'll focus on Final Fantasy 2 II and 3 for the Super Nintendo Complete. And the two games that we picked up, one of them was Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. Uh, this one always does pretty well. So I picked it up, I paid, what was it? Um, 105 RMB, $15, sells for 33. Another one I picked up was this one here. It's uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Paid 45 RMB, $6.50, sells for $20. So good money to add to the uh, loose funds game. So there we go, there goes that part. And uh, again, guys, just trying to randomly find all kinds of stuff. And I got boxes everywhere, guys. So let's see, where do we go next? Actually, let's go to this box right here. Uh, I picked up a bunch of uh, Zelda figures. I've actually bought these before um, and actually, they actually sold on eBay pretty well. These are vintage, maybe about 20 years old figures for Zelda. Uh, oops, these are still pretty sealed, but they're the uh, Epoch um, Zelda figures that are pretty well packaged in here. So as you can see, there are, uh, it's these figures here. Um, these right here. Uh, this one here is the Goron Link. So it's uh, this one here. This one tends to sell for about anywhere for $80 to $100 a piece. And then this one here, Deku Link. 
Uh, I believe it sells for like 250. Uh, so there's uh, one of each, actually two of each, sorry. As you can see, they're pretty well packaged uh, in there. And um, for each set of two, I paid, I believe, uh, $98, like 658 RMB, something like that. And they can sell each set of two for about $350. So it's pretty good money to be made in these. I actually picked up quite a few of these. I think I bought all the ones that the guy had. Um, I think I have uh, maybe about like 10 to 12 set of figures. So these are gonna be pretty good investment. I put them on eBay last time. They sold uh, within a month. Uh, some of them sold pretty fast. So I got quite a few of these that I'm gonna take with me. I have to be very careful on packaging so that they don't, uh, they don't tear or separate because they're so old. They're about like 20 years old, I believe, or longer. So those are gonna be really cool. That was a really good find and a really good flip because that's gonna provide plenty of profit for us to be able to buy uh, more uh, games to be able to add to our collection. So that was pretty cool. Um, what else we got? Mm, it's a Pokeball around here somewhere. Got some more Pokeballs. If I can figure out where I left it. Oop. Here's one of them. I think the other one's charging. So I picked up uh, two of these here, these Pokeballs. They tend to do pretty well. I picked, uh, picked up two of them for 230 RMB, which is $32. Each one sells for $39. They don't have Mew, but uh, people still buy them uh, and uh, something that uh, is worth picking up if you're able to find them. And I have the charges for them so I can bundle them with the Hori charging stand, which is really cool. All right, so next uh, we got a bunch of like bundles that we picked up. Um, let me get rid of a bunch of things I got. To do, do, do. Don't mind the noises. First one I picked up here was this one. <laughs> is a Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, Wii U bundle. The system is in great shape. I'll put a picture here up here so you can see it somewhere. But uh, this one here, it's uh, complete. Heavy, all the manuals and everything. I paid 550 RMB for it, which is $77. Uh, sells for about 188. I already have one. I have the uh, uh, Wind Waker one. I don't have the box for it, but I just have one. I might end up keeping this one just because um, it's always good to keep a second Wii U system. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Man, this thing is heavy. Was, it, was that that heavy when it first came out? All right, so that one is out of the way. Um, so that was one bundle I picked up. Uh, and I picked up a bunch of other games that came up. Uh, one person was selling a bundle for 450 RMB, which is right here. It's uh, five Wii U games for $63. And uh, the total lot value of this is about $147. Some of these will go to our collection, like this one here, Mario Party 10. I don't have it. These discs are in excellent shape. Even when I bought it, the guy was like, these discs are almost new. And I was like, okay. Except for the hair right there and there's that smudge. Well, that is a scratch. So, I mean, not too bad, but some of these are in really good condition. Uh, there you go, so that's my, I think that smudge was me looking at them. <laughs> but this one we already have it, guys. Uh, whoop, Mario Party 10, this one here goes for about um, $30. So not too bad, going towards our collection. This one, we have it already. So this one's an easy flip. Uh, does sell well. This one goes for about $68. So that almost pays for the whole collection. I mean, I bought the five games for about, what, $63? Paid off with just that one. We got another copy of Mario Kart 8. I already have it. So this one is going to be sold. Uh, this one tends to do $15. Uh, Smash Brothers goes for $14. We already have it. And I'll keep this one here. Just Dance 2016. I think this one goes anywhere between $10 to $20. We don't have it. I'll add it to the collection just for the sake of adding it. Um, not a big fan of just dance games, dancing and stuff like that, but it'll complete the collection nicely. So awesome, bunch of really cool games there. Uh, where do we go next? Uh, oh yeah, picked up another really good bundle. This was actually like two days ago. Uh, it was sold here locally in China, uh, Shanghai, sorry. And uh, I drove over to uh, this person's house, it's like a 30 minute drive, me and my wife got in the car and I met this really cool couple. Uh, I don't know, they look like maybe in their 60s and stuff like that. And they saw me and they're like, hey, uh, they started speaking English. I was surprised because uh, not a lot of the older generation of Chinese uh, parents or grandparents or people that age speak English. And they're like, you drive in Shanghai? And I'm like, yeah, I drive, but <laughs> traffic jams here are a mess. Um, so it was really nice. And then I saw that they had picked everything up from the US because that's what it said on their posting. But anyways, it was a Wii U game bundle. Um, I'm sorry, a Wii bundle. Uh, with a bunch of stuff. I paid about uh, 658 uh, RMB, which is $92. And we got a bunch of awesome stuff. So first thing that we got, we got a complete in-box 
we use system i mean this thing is in such great shape the box the system itself everything inside is uh in excellent condition i'll put some pictures uh because uh I opened it up earlier and uh, put it back together. But I'll put some pictures here that you can see. It comes with everything on there. Uh, it has the games. Uh, again, these people, uh, older people, I think they bought it maybe just to play some of the uh, really cool games that they have and everything. So, um, awesome. So that I think that's the first part of the bundle. The, the Wii U system itself tends to go in box like this for about $120. So that's already more than what we already paid for it. Plus including everything else, um, I do have the, the, some of the games here. They threw in the uh, Mario, the, the what is it, the Mario Kart wheel, right? The wheel for the controller, which means they threw in a bunch of other games too. Uh, first game that uh, threw in, this is the bundle. And I can't believe how heavy this one was, guys. Mm, the Wii Fit board, this thing is heavy as heck. Uh, it's complete in the box, everything is in there. Uh, the Wii Fit board in box tends to go for about a hundred, uh, sorry, tends to go for about $30 thing is heavy uh, and the game is here I got the game here uh, and uh, another amazing thing that they threw in was this one here it was the uh, Guitar Hero World Tour it has the guitar all the everything is in there uh, game is in there really good shape uh, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I think these people didn't really play that the, the, the games that much uh, I don't know I didn't ask them if I bought it for themselves but these are the games the manual here's the Wii Play uh, Wii Play tends to go for what like a uh, it doesn't do much, like five dollars. There's a Mario Kart. This one does pretty well for about like what thirty-two dollars. Uh, there's a Guitar Hero game and then the Wii Fit game, and then right here is the uh, is it the Wii Sports. The one that does really well <laughs> is in there. So everything is in there. I mean, these people kept really good care of their system. Uh, everything together, guys. The Wii system, the Wii Fit, the Guitar Hero, all that was bundled together for again ninety-two dollars. Everything's worth about two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Amazing. I think I'm gonna keep the Wii. I don't have one so I'm gonna keep that but I will definitely flip the Guitar Hero and maybe the Wii Fit board or I might keep it I might just keep the Wii Fit board I don't know uh, it could be extra stuff uh, definitely keep the wheel um, but tons of really cool stuff um, that we picked up and then one other thing finally guys that I picked up is around here somewhere is another 3DS uh, system which is this one right here so it is a Pokemon X and Y the blue system um, it's in really good shape I think um, the guy took care of it pretty well as you can see let's see look at the screens look at that look at that screen uh, did I charge it pretty sure I charged it uh, so the top screen again really good shape um, here we go and uh, the game in there already testing it great shape I mean this system is really good uh, this one here I paid about um, I believe 588 RMB which is $82 and it sells for about $226 and I tend to see a lot of systems like this that are sold for like a really good price and it's, it would be like a really good pickup uh, and I've been slowly trying to pick up systems again it's just last time it was I had so many and it was such a hassle to take all the systems and uh, this time I'll be more selective but I think I'm gonna go ahead and definitely flip this one I'm gonna flip one of those other I have one in the box that I'm gonna flip a new one and then I have a used one. So now I got three of the uh, the blue one. So this one's definitely gonna be flipped. I do have a red one also that's open. Uh, so I might take that one to the US too and flip it. But guys, so many amazing things in such a little time. And that's not including these things right here that I picked up because I was in that Tears of the Kingdom celebration uh, week. So this one here is like a little heart, like a book holder heart uh, right here. It takes like double A batteries, I think. And it's in the stand right here. I think I paid like 300 RMB for like $45 for it. So I really wanted this, I picked it up, added it to the collection. I haven't opened it yet, I'm telling you guys, I've had this for, I would say at least two weeks, maybe three weeks. And it's just been so busy with work, I haven't had a chance to open it. So I'll open it, put it at the end of the video so you can see it. And then this one here, a lot of people are going crazy for this one here. It's the, uh, it's like a little lamp. It's the uh, high, um, the, <laughs> the master sword. It's like a little lamp, uh, again uses, I believe, double A batteries or triple A batteries uh, and you kind of um, you can put it on um, and it turns on so yeah there you go there's the batteries right here Boop. and uh, can't wait to open it uh, and set it up in the back and I put it to next to my other uh, master sword up there but yeah this one here was about $115 I would say uh, and when they first came out I mean people were buying them like crazy and I, I was like should I get it or not and I was like I finally decided to uh, pull the trigger and get it just so I can add it to the collection and uh, add it to the background there. But 
what do you think guys we got a bunch of amazing stuff um over uh i guess a month and a half i really I, I was so busy i didn't start buying any much of the stuff to like recently but i got lucky the the wii bundle was amazing that wii u system that's the uh, 3ds again it's just i feel like there's a little bit more competition on shen yu now but uh, it's just all a matter of luck and the time that you get on there and see what you want to purchase um but i'll be heading home soon i won't be there as much as i wanted to be there um but i'll be there i am definitely going to give away that 3ds that i left last time there it's a uh the original 3ds system that i had that i wanted to give away when i hit a thousand subscribers but i think i'm just going to go ahead and give it away um i thought i had like my my test system around here somewhere but there's just too much stuff um and then i'll give that away i think i'm going to give a sealed copy of Tekken and uh, a copy of Dead or Alive Dimensions uh, even though we haven't hit a thousand uh, subscribers I think that we've been really lucky and I want to spread some of the love out there so keep an eye on the videos uh, I'll definitely be putting uh, some more of those uh, shorter uh, videos on YouTube um, uh, click the uh, like subscribe uh, button uh, definitely come and hang out with us guys I know it's been it's been a minute and uh, it's been really busy but uh, summer's here, holiday's here, so uh, I'll be doing a little bit more work. We're gonna go to the US, see how much we can get for this box of amazing 3DS games and see how much we can invest into some Super Nintendo games. It's gonna be awesome. Keep an eye out guys for the giveaways. They will start soon. Anyways guys, until next time, you all stay safe and I'll see you again.